uh, discussing alternate alternate learning pathways for uh, cl teaching climate journalism in Pakistan. And that is going to be a collaborative discussion with all of you so we, uh, we, we can actually work on designing courses and designing the SLOs for the course and uh, assessment criteria and all those things. Uh, before moving towards that, uh, I would like to give you a brief background of how it all started for me. So basically, um, I was uh, at uh, at an exchange program at Oslo Metropolitan University and studying global warming and journalism. I did a comparative study there. So we, I had the opportunity to interview um, Norwegian youth. And then I uh, made a comparative analysis and did the interview with our students also. Uh, it was in 2000, 2019. So that's when I realized that uh, our students lack climate literacy. There was less climate literacy among our students. And that's when I realized that uh, you know, we really need to do something about it. And, uh, but, but we all know that 2018 and 2019 were extremely significant years in terms of global uh, climate action. Uh, and the issue of climate change had gained a lot of uh, attention worldwide. There have been a lot of uh, climate anomalies. Uh, there have been a lot of events in 2019. There have been many uh, protests all over the countries. Uh, I, I hope you all are familiar with Greta Thunberg. She was a Swedish kid who uh, started a protest outside her school and then uh, outside the parliament in Sweden. And uh, that created a lot of buzz. And by 2019, there were millions of such protests all over, the, all over different countries. So, uh, and, and then obviously there were a lot of, uh, the first climate action summit happened in 2019. So, um, there is evidence available, research evidence, that the climate coverage uh, has seen a lot of, uh, uh, has increased in 2019 and 2018. Uh, but uh, I'll show you the following surveys depict trends in uh, climate change literacy throughout the years of 2019 to 2022. So, uh, for example, the trend has gone from doubting the negative effects this survey was 2019 conducted by Gallup and Gilani. You can read that on the screen also. So uh, the trend of people's perception of climate literacy, of climate understanding, has gone from uh, doubting the negative effect of climate change and also um, knowing less about climate change to uh, understanding and realizing that global warming is the serious threat to the mankind. So uh, there has been a sh shift in the trend. But in a recent study, not very recent in the March 2022, but still um, in 2022 up till now, a lot of people still think that it's already too late to curtail climate change, to combat climate change. And then a lot of other people also uh, believe that we as individuals have nothing to do with climate change. Uh, the, for example, the mitigating and adaptive strategies should be taken by different businesses, private businesses or government organizations. But as an individual, I can't do anything. So I think this is the problem. Uh, if you look at these uh, researches, you see an improved graph or understanding uh, about climate literacy. But climate literacy is not only understanding what's happening around you. It's not only understanding the uh, earth sciences. It's also uh, taking informed and responsible decisions and action. So I think that part is missing. And that is missing because of uh, the sort of climate news coverage that is uh, you know, that is there because the climate news coverage has been very episodic. So it is very important that uh, uh, the climate literacy enhanced. And for that, I believe that uh, climate journalism is the solution. So as per the surveys that we've looked at, especially the one from 2022, we can conclude the following things, that promoting climate literacy is extremely essential for climate action. Because uh, as journalism educators, this is our responsibility also to have uh, different uh, courses and engage our journalist, uh, our journalism students who are the future journalists. So they can uh, be trained to cover uh, the climate uh, stories in a better way. That is how the climate coverage is going to be enhanced, the quality of the coverage. The quantity has improved, obviously. Uh, there are very good journalists, I believe. We have one of them among us, Mr. Daud Khan also. But uh, the quality of the coverage will be increased. And our students need to be trained in um, telling climate 
stories in a better way, focusing on the solution journalism and going beyond from the traditional role of journalism of in providing information and inculcating fear. Uh, it's important for them to talk about the solution journalism. So what I believe is that climate journalism is climate action and we all have to uh, be the part of that. And um, I'll quickly talk about this course description that I've designed. I've highlighted the part uh, which was the aim for me to design this course. And now we're going to start our discussion in which I would like to have your opinion, your suggestion, and uh, other things. Uh, for example, uh, the, I'll read it for you. The course will aim at training students in utilizing the potential of journalism in creating climate literacy, promoting climate mitigation, and preparing public for climate adaptation. Now, this is definitely not the traditional role of media. This is the solution-based journalism. So I designed the course from the perspective that our students are uh, future journalists need to have this idea that they need to prepare audiences. Instead of telling them what's happening only, uh, it's very important for our students or the reporters to actually focus on, uh, on the solutions and also preparing them for what's going to happen in future. Like we all know that we have to, a lot of times people say that uh, we are not prepared. We were not prepared. A lot of people said that when the floods happen and every year we see smog. But I think uh, we know what's happening around the world. There are a lot of uh, resources shared by uh, Mr. Daud Khan. I can also share a few resources when we have this discussion. The resources that we can use as educator uh, in our classes, the links uh, 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 to actually simplify the technical jargons that are used in, the, um, in teaching climate science. So uh, this was the idea, and the ideas for the content are uh, so I had this uh, introduction to climate change and global warming because uh, in our classes, I assume that uh, not every student will have a science background. Even I didn't have a science background. So I think starting with this, this was my idea. But uh, as I said, it's, we are open to discussion. You guys can start raising hands. I'll hand, hand over the mic to you. Our, our students will hand over the mic to you. So uh, I decided to begin with this. But then obviously the problem was that even I did not have a lot of uh, strong background of uh, science. So for that, in, uh, this is doable in our university. You can speak from your uh, perspective and uh, perspective of your respective institute. Uh, this is possible in our university to co-teach a course. So I thought for this part, I can maybe co-teach this course uh, with an environmental science professor or with another uh, professor from another department who can actually uh, speak on the scientific aspect of the, uh, of the climate change of the course because that's very important to set the pace. And then climate change solutions. So this heading is basically, it's important for our students to understand uh, and also the journalists to understand the role of different entities in com uh, combating climate change. Because uh, as a journalist, as a uh, Mm, private organizations, government, there are so many different uh, entities involved who can actually play a part in combating climate change. So I think uh, they need to understand uh, that. Then uh, I think uh, I added this part also, role of journalism in achieving sustainable environment. Uh, this is important for our students to understand the role of journalism because even uh, today when I tell people, when they ask me, Ke, uh, uh, PhD kis mein hai? so when I tell them media, climate journalism or uh, media and climate change, so the media ka kya taluk hai? what media has to do with uh, climate change. So I think it's important for our students to sensitize them the role of journalism and uh, uh, the role of journalism in telling the environment stories and how it is linked together. So that's, I think, is very important. A global perspective and also introduction to environment journalism, a look into the international media. Uh, we can talk about the good practices. Again, I'll share a few websites for the good practices. Uh, one of the resource is uh, Media Climate Network. You can go there and uh, look for a lot of different resources for educators. There are a lot other. And then uh, another important aspect of the course for me uh, is contextualizing the climate change. Because this is the idea. Teaching climate journalism at Pakistan universities, finding a global perspective. It is very important for us to uh, sensitize our students and help them recognizing and making connections between their everyday stories with, the glo uh, with global warming. Not every story will have an angle, but they really need to find uh, 
environment angle in a wide range of news stories. So researching and everything can be introduced here. Uh, and there are other concepts, understanding your audience, uh, eco-anxiety is a concept, utilizing data journalism for writing environmental stories. This is an important aspect. We, I know a few participants here who are working with data journalism, so they can speak for that. Uh, safety for environmental journalists is another aspect that can be included. But the, uh, okay, before you guys think that this is too much for a course, these are just the ideas. We can have different courses. We can have one course, uh, maybe an introductory course, and then an upper level course. Uh, it depends however you want to go about it. Apart from having a separate course, you can also introduce the climate uh, literacy uh, idea in different courses that you're working on in uh, your departments. For example, uh, yes, development communication, health communication, because uh, Ms. Farhan has talked about that also, uh, that there, were, there was a health angle, and I read a lot of stories. Uh, yes. Uh, Mike, please, ma'am, go there. Bilkul, uh, yes, absolutely, ma'am. That's very important, and I think photojournalism. So this visualizing climate change can be, uh, you know, can be told through that. Uh, there is a website, Climate Visuals. So that is an evidence-based website. Uh, that actually, uh, you, you just write the area name and you write the uh, a term and you'll see a picture for that. So for the reference, you can use that in your classes to show them, to so show your students how you can visualize uh, climate change. So I think uh, photo, in, in photojournalism, and then we have a course in FC, uh, communication campaign design. So I introduce, in that course, what I do is I talk about uh, sustainable development goals with my students, and I ask them to pick one of the goals uh, for the campaigns. So they have to campaign around, they have to create a social campaign on one of the SDGs. And some of the, because uh, it's a larger group, 40 students, so uh, some of them pick uh, goal 13, which is climate action. There are, a lot of people have worked on menstrual hygiene management, they've worked on uh, postpartum depression, a lot of, so there have been so many, I think this is the idea you can inculcate in different courses, because this is how, um, the, I, the, the climate literacy can be enhanced, and they need to be uh, sensitized in, uh, in, in, in talking about climate, in taking interest in the problem, which is not just the course, which is not just uh, the discussion, it's, uh, it's the serious threat to our planet. So it's important that our students are sensitized, who are going to be future journalists, they're going to join different advertising agencies and different uh, media houses, as filmmakers. Uh, I was having a discussion with one of the participants here. So I think films can be used, documentaries uh, can be used also. So uh, uh, please raise hand so we can, together we can talk about the alternate pathways for uh, teaching climate journalism from your perspectives. My question was, uh, my observation was this, that why we are focusing on journalism? Why are not we using the word media? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, initially, when I designed the course, I named it uh, climate communication because a, a communication is a broader term. But then mm -hmm. I realized it's going to be too much because media is part of communication, but not just that. So uh, yes, we can do that also, that we can have media and climate yes. change. And then the content can be arranged accordingly. Because when we talk about media, so uh, it's a lot. There's journalism, then there is advertising side, and then a lot of other digital media no, also. So uh, that's that's what I said that we can actually, uh, you know, we can have different courses. We can uh, make uh, uh, knit our courses around different ideas and different themes. Um, so, for example, I, I just we need uh, to offer a degree. In fact, <laughs> I, I think yes, there has to be a program. <laughs> but to begin with, uh, ma'am, go uh, there, mic. There is another mic also. Actually, there's a uh, just continuing the point of yeah, yeah, uh, Dr. Shabana because the same question was also in my mind that why are we talking about only the journalism? Mm -hmm. Because if we see the psycho, demo, ethno, and even geographics of the Pakistan, we came to realize that journalism is a term which seems to be an old term for the students of mass communication mm -hmm. and the dynamics of the country tells us that we have to be focused on some other communication strategies like advocacy and all. So I think so that uh, the word journalism uh, for me as far as I know is a restricted term. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I just uh, endorse Dr. Shavana's point that the communication word should be there like media as well. 
And the second thing is that uh, my perception when I teach my students that they are not interested yes. to move in that particular field because they think that the entertainment industry is more worthful for earning money. So uh, the same question I wanted to put to Mr. Daud as well that how can we motivate our students to move into this field because the more we produce for the market, the fruits we can get later on which is sustainability as well. So this is my question. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Dr. Mahiba. Uh, just an announcement that uh, our, one of our students, uh, Fatima Atik, is uh, taking notes of all the discussion once, because this was the idea uh, uh, shared by uh, the Dean of Humanities, uh, Dr. Altaf, that uh, once all the discussion is you know, gathered together, so we can share it with you, the notes and everything, uh, the slides, so we can together develop a course and different, uh, again, alternate pathways for, uh, for learning. Um, so before I, I take uh, your comments, sir, uh, so because it's an interaction now, it's open. So uh, Dr. Muniba has uh, asked a question from Mr. Daud. And I think Mr. Daud and Ms. Farah can talk about that, that how can we actually make it attractive for students? Because this is the problem that I also face uh, when I ask my students to uh, you know, work on these stories. So. Yes, they don't show their interest. So how can we make it? Uh, uh, can you hand over the mic to Ms. Farah? Ms. Farah Zahidi. Farah Naz Zahidi. No, no, uh, she has. The mic. Yes, ma'am. Uh, um, so um, selling the idea that one of the most lucrative forms of journalism or media is when there's a nexus with the development sector Realistically, that's where all the funding lies. Kitni bhi economy sink ho jaye, ek to khane pine ki dukane nahi band hongi, aur ek development sector nahi band hoga. Because jitni misery hamare areas mein aayegi, utni hi development funding aayegi, aur utna hi development, actually the broader term is developmental journalism, of which climate journalism is a part. Uh, and uh, that's where it comes in. आपने जो earlier बोला था problem ये है कि journalism आप आप बेहतर जानते हैं academically journalism के field term perhaps इसलिए भी इस्तेमाल किया जाता है because communications is very broad and you spoke of advocacy but advocacy की जहाँ बात आती है वहाँ फिर वही वाली discussion आती जो हम शुरू में कर रहे थे subjectivity and objectivity so reliability और credibility का factor कम हो जाता है when you openly say okay we are advocates of this we are actually not supposed to be advocates of this so when we say journalism it means I'm at least trying to be objective as much as I can and I'm just a relayer of information uh, other than that, aage se jo bhi uska wo lena chahte hai, wo le. So ye, these are questions that the modern world is presenting and new media is presenting. Just like every journalist now has to have a Twitter presence, they have to be on Instagram, we get questions. Um, a lot of journalists know, some choose it, I don't. Uh, but we are offered uh, money to tweet certain ideas, do we become advocates of certain ideas, do we kind of become marketeers or influencers. So these are huge questions and the lines are blurring. So he's not unfair totally in saying that journalism ka loves is tamal hona chahiye, but ye hai ke aapki baat bhi bilkul thik hai ke confusing hai thoda is waqt. So communications is also a part of it. I don't really know if that's an answer. No, but for example, when I teach news reporting, so I talk about the beat uh, climate beat specifically from the reporting perspective uh, but when you uh, you know when you have different courses so that's what I was saying that uh, instead of having a course when you talk about the idea at the end is that introducing or sensitizing them towards climate change towards climate mm -hmm. action basically mm -hmm. because uh, as journalism students they are the agents for change they're f in future they're going to become future journalists. So I think the idea is basically uh, sensitizing them towards climate action. So uh, one way or the, or the other, in other courses, uh, if anybody has an uh, has a opinion on that, or for what sort of courses, in what sort of courses we can inculcate the idea. As I said, photojournalism, may, it's possible. It's possible in documentary making, uh, development communication, health communication, and what other courses where we can talk about. 
yes in public relation also uh, definitely uh, and a part sorry to interrupt yeah. a part of it has to be jo hamari exactly baat ho rahi hai kahan tak journalism mein hum activist ka role play kar sakte hain aur kahan hame piche hat jana hai aur hame sirf khabar pahunchani hai exactly तो ओपिनियन जर्नलिज्म अलग है मगर फिर जर्नलिज्म जर्नलिज्म अलग है बट अगेन हम कोई ना कोई अपनी ओपिनियन दे रहे होते हैं बट आई थिंक दैट्स अ वेरी वर्थ वाइल डिस्कशन आल्सो यस या इन इट्स मिस्टर दाउ डू यू हैव एनीथिंग टू से मैम सोबिया नाज सॉरी मैम फोजिया नाज फ्रॉम कराची यूनिवर्सिटी जी एक्चुअली uh, अभी जैसे आप लोग बात कर रहे हैं कि स्टूडेंट को कैसे इस तरफ मोटिवेट करें या वो किस तरह से आएँ तो uh, थोड़ा सा हमारा एक्सपीरियंस फ़र्क है इससे और uh, हमारे पास स्टूडेंट uh, बड़े शौक से ऐसी स्टोरीज करते हैं hmm. और एक्चुअली हमने एक कोर्स भी uh, शुरू किया है अपने यहाँ जो क्राइसिस एंड डिज़ास्टर कम्यूनिकेशन के नाम से है और उस क्राइसिस एंड डिज़ास्टर्स में हम Uh, क्योंकि आपको पता है कि uh, कराची में बहुत सारी ऐसी चीज़ों से हमें वास्ता रहते हैं नेचुरल डिज़ास्टर्स तो अपनी जगह होते हैं उसके अलावा भी बहुत सारी चीज़ें होती रहती हैं तो उसमें uh, हमारे पास बहुत अच्छा फीडबैक है हमारे पास uh, बहुत अच्छे फील्ड से लोग हैं कि जो पढ़ाने के लिए आते हैं ये कोर्स और स्टूडेंट का इंटरेस्ट भी बहुत है इसमें और वो uh, कई दफ़ा वो ऐसी ऐसी स्टोरीज लेकर आते हैं कि जो शायद Uh, हमारे हमारा उस तरफ ध्यान नहीं जाता लेकिन वो uh, समझते हैं और चूंकि आपको पता है कि कराची में बहुत सारे uh, जगहों से इलाकों से लोग आते हैं तो वो अपने इलाके की भी पर्टिकुलर ऐसी चीज़ें लेकर आते हैं कि जिनको फिर मेन स्ट्रीम मीडिया में जगह मिलती है और वो उसको रिपोर्ट भी करते हैं और इवन uh, इसमें रिक्स फैक्टर uh, हम सब बहुत अच्छी तरह से जानते हैं कई कामों में हमारे पास रिक्स फैक्टर बहुत ज़्यादा होता है uh, जैसे मेरी एक uh, एक एन है वो काम कर रही है उनसे मेरी बात हो रही थी हम हम डेवलपमेंट सपोर्ट कम्युनिकेशन भी पढ़ाते हैं उसमें भी हम इस तरह की कंपेन्स uh, जो है वो रन करते हैं जिसमें ऑफ कोर्स के क्लाइमेट भी आता है इसमें हमने एक प्रोजेक्ट uh, किया कि जिसमें कि आप कचरा जो हमें जगह जगह नज़र आता है तो उसको हम uh, वो ग्रीन जो है वो अलग कर दें प्लास्टिक अलग कर दें ये अलग कर दें तो उसमें जब हम ये एक बहुत ही स्मॉल एरिया में इस पायलट uh, कर रहे थे इस प्रोजेक्ट को तो उसमें ये नो द कचरा माफिया तो वो कचरा माफिया हमारे पीछे आ गई और उसने कहा कि ये कचरा तो सोना है तो वो आप जो है वो आप कैसे कलेक्ट कर सकते हैं और ये तो हमारी फील्ड है ये हमारा काम है तो वो लोगों को बताने और समझाने में भी बहुत टाइम लगता है कि ये हम आपका बिहेवियर चेंज के लिए कर रहे हैं वी आर स्टूडेंट ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन हम थ्रू कम्युनिकेशन आपका बिहेवियर चेंज करने के लिए कर रहे हैं हमें आपके ये कचरा माफिया अपना काम करे ज़रूर लेकिन हम लोगों को ये बताना चाहते हैं ये कचरा आप अलग अलग करोगे तो इससे आपका फ़ायदा है इस ये रिसाइकिल होगा इससे आप खाद बनाओगे ये करो मतलब वट एवर आप जानते हैं कि सारी चीज़ें जो हैं तो ये चीज़ें भी क्लाइमेट में आपको हेल्प आउट करती हैं कि आप जो है वो किस तरह से ये कर रहे हैं नेचुरल जो हो रहे हैं अब मौसमी तब्दीलियाँ हो रही हैं हमारे एजुकेशन रिपोर्टर अब इस तरफ जा रहे हैं कि ये जो समर और विंटर वेकेशन होती हैं ना इसका टाइम भी बदल जाएगा क्योंकि अभी हम दिसंबर में लाहौर में हैं और यहाँ कोई ऐसे मुझे सर्दी के असार नहीं नज़र आ रहे जो उससे पहले जो है सर्दी हो जाया करती थी तो बहुत तब्दीलियाँ आ रही हैं जिसकी वजह से हमें ज़रूरत है इस तरह के कोर्सेज शुरू करने की और आज हम यहाँ मिल बैठे हैं मैं साकिब
Okay. Uh, uh, we have. Uh, I think uh, you want to respond to what yes. Mr. Mosley yeah. said. Just so add yes. a few things. Please. Like as Mohsin said that uh, in Pakistani media, mainstream media, we have a problem that we focus on three C's. We call it in the newsroom three C's: crime, court, and cricket. This is a big dilemma. Hmm. Uh, and actually, uh, uh, one of the question that um, uh, Madam Muniza asked that how can we encourage the student to uh, take climate change or environment as a beat? So there is a gap between uh, the newsroom and the classroom. So, so the classroom should invite those journalists who are covering climate and environment uh, issues in Pakistan and they can discuss uh, their field experience to the students to encourage the student and uh, encourage them where are the opportunities, where are the good stories they can go for and where are the good publications they can publish your stories. So I think uh, this gap should be reduced. Yes and also uh, uh, as Ms. Farhana has also said that uh, uh, the development sector, you know involving that with that. Uh, for example, as I said when I teach uh, communication, uh, camp communication campaign design, I ask them to uh, work on SDGs and also uh, make ha help them make connections with uh, different organizations. For example, if they're working on, as I said, uh, menstrual hygiene management, there is an organization called BT. If they're working on uh, gender awareness, so there are organizations. So they do the volunteer work also. So that is how they can, you know, get a lot of connections. And I talk about the the possibility of working in the field because it's it, not as a reporter only, but as a documentarist or as a um, communication strategist in an, in an NGO. Uh, there are so many different openings. So that's what I do. I open different pages and show them that there is this, uh, for example, in UN, in Islamabad, there are so many jobs. Uh, as a climate communication strategist, you can work. So uh, as professors or as uh, climate journal uh, as journalism educators in general, we have to talk about the professional side of the, co uh, of the courses that we're teaching also. Because that's what they're interested in. That's what they also ask, hey, sir, what's after this, like, jobs ka kya hai, kaise hai? So we have to shift their uh, attention from the, you know, the fancy entertainment media to all these uh, issues. And that's possible when you have to, uh, you know, when you actually talk about how it is threatening for them. Although we're not contributing, but considering the fact that Pakistan is the most vulnerable uh, country because of economic, uh, you know, resources, less economic resources, and because of uh, other factors also. So uh, once they realize it's concerning them, then they're going to be interested in that. And so, that, uh, that that hello. Be the way to bridge the gap Exactly. So we can have uh, different professionals uh, in our classes talk about the professional side of it. Uh, I hope Ms. Uh, Faranaz uh, would like to contribute uh, in our courses and classes also. No, I mean, the third pole network, I believe. And, uh, sorry ma'am, from the Media Climate Network also, there are a lot of other networks. Uh, so this is the purpose of, uh, you know, for of this gathering that we can make connections uh, and we can have all these international experts and different professionals working in the different parts of the world so we can have them in our classes in our, uh, through Zoom or maybe we can invite them so to create that interest in, uh, in our students. Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, thank you, Saakya. Uh, it was all a very interesting discussion and the things you put up, like uh, obviously course content and all that. Um, it is which I believe maybe um, I'm wrong or maybe I'm wrong, uh, right, but uh, climate journalism itself covers all the aspects which are required to cover climate, basically. So journalism is not like I don't think lo, think so ki aise hai, because online journalism or baki sari involved hai, so climate journalism is a good phrase you can say or we can use for that. Uh tak baat dusri hai ki hum mein students shayad iske upar nahi hai. Mujhe lagta hai ki ab jo changes aa rahe hain, jo climate mein jis tarah se aa rahe hain, jo bhi hamare yahan flood ki situation hui, sara kuch hua. So, कहीं ना कहीं वो इंटरेस्ट लेवल डेवलप होना शुरू हो गया है द पॉइंट इज कि हाउ वी मेक मैक्सिमम यूज आउट ऑफ इट बीइंग अ एजुकेशनिस्ट बीइंग लाइक हम बैठे हुए एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशंस में और कोर्स कंटेंट डिजाइन करके कोर्स पढ़ा देना फॉर मी इट्स नॉट सफिशिएंट बेसिक जरूरत ये है कि आप उनको सेंसिटाइज करें आप एडवोकेसी पे जाएंगे आप वो जाएंगे तो उसके लिए जो आपका टॉपिक है ना अल्टरनेटिव लर्निंग पाथवेज 
सो बेसिकली हमें वो अडॉप्ट भी करने चाहिए साथ साथ और वो ऑल्टरनेट लर्निंग पाथवे क्या है वो ये कि आप सेमिनार्स करते हैं आप वर्कशॉप करते हैं आप स्टूडेंट्स को सेंसिटाइज करते हैं और फिर आप उनको कोर्स कॉन्टेंट या स्पेशलाइजेशन उस तरफ लाते हैं सो आई थिंक हमें उन पर भी जरा फोकस करना चाहिए कि कोर्स तो आप पढ़ा लेंगे हम बना लेंगे हम उसको अपने कुछ में भी शामिल करेंगे सारा कुछ हो जाएगा बट जब तक और दूसरी बात है कि लुक्रेटिव है ऑब्वियसली उन्होंने कहा कि सब खत्म हो सकता है दुनिया में खाना पीना और डेवलपमेंट सेक्टर खत्म नहीं हो सकता तो ये वाला जो क्लाइमेट अब इस वक्त आई एम सॉरी इफ आई एम रॉन्ग और इफ आई साउंड ऑकवर्ड बट क्लाइमेट बिक रहा है इस वक्त लेकिन उसके अलावा भी अगर हम उसको मॉनिटरी बेनिफिट को साइड पे भी रख दें तो जो आपको ये और ये बात हर हर इंसान को समझ आ रही है कि जिस क्लाइमेट में हम जा रहे हैं जो ग्लोबल वार्मिंग हो रही है उसकी क्या रीजन हो सकती है और हमें क्या क्या कुछ करना चाहिए मसला मुझे लगता है कि सेंसिटाइज करने का ज्यादा है जितना हम कर लेंगे अपने स्टूडेंट को और मीडिया के थ्रू बाकी लोगों को इट्स नॉट जस्ट स्टूडेंट्स आपकी सोसाइटी के लोग आपके मे बी आपके जो डिसीजन मेकर्स हैं वो उन सबको इस प्रोसेस में शामिल करने की जरूरत है ताकि आप एक कंसोशियम बना के इसके ऊपर एफर्ट कर सके Yes, अच्छा साकिब uh, एक मैं okay. सब हम्बल सबमिशन है मैं समझ मैं मेरे ख्याल में उस पर बात करना चाह रहा था काफ़ी देर से लेकिन वो मैं ये कहना चाह रहा हूँ कि बेसिकली हमारा प्रॉब्लम है जो जो आपका टॉपिक है ना क्लाइमेट लिटरेसी का हुँ. हमारे पास बच्चा जब एफएससी करके ग्रेजुएशन में आता है तो उस बेचारे को यही नहीं पता होता कि वट इज़ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पार्टिकुलेट मैटर एंड ग्रीन हाउस गैसेज उसको दो ग्रीन हाउस गैसेज का नाम नहीं आता उसको ये नहीं पता होता कि एक ऑर्डनरी गैस और ग्रीन हाउस गैस में क्या फ़र्क है और ग्रीन हाउस गैस से क्लाइमेट चेंज कर रही है तो मेरे ख्याल में एक अर्ली एंट्री पॉइंट जो है अगर हम इकोलॉजी का कोर्स उनको शुरू में yes. पढ़ा के उनको बायोटिक और ए बायोटिक फैक्टर्स ऑफ द एनवायरनमेंट समझा दें पहले और उन्हें बता दें कि बायोटिक फैक्टर्स क्या हैं उसमें वायरस कैसे जोनोटिक इन्फेक्शन के बारे में बताएं कैसे जो है स्पेल ओवर होता है जानवरों से इंसान जानवरों के नजदीक जा रहा है और उस तरह से किस तरह से वायरसेज जो है इंसानों के अंदर क्रीप कर रहे हैं इन्फेक्शन आ रहे हैं और फिर बायोटिक फैक्टर्स के अंदर जाके जब देखें उसके पास थीरी होगी तो कल को वो जर्नलिस्ट बन देखें जब बच्चा जाता है हर बच्चा क्यों हामिद मीर बनना चाहता है हर बच्चा क्यों यहाँ पे पॉलिटिक्स को जो है लाइक करता है क्योंकि वो बचपन से स्कूलों में पढ़ता आ रहा है पॉलिटिकल साइंस और इस तरह के कॉन्सेप्ट्स और घर से लिहाजा वो उससे इंप्रेस होता है तो मेरे ख्याल में जब बच्चे को आप, आप कहते हैं ना कि यहाँ इंटरेस्ट नहीं है बच्चों में उसको पता ही नहीं है कि क्लाइमेट चेंज क्या है इशू क्या है तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू सेंसिटाइज हिम वी नीड टू मेक हिम लिटरेट अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज तो इकोलॉजी का कोर्स जो है वो इनिशियल लेवल पे एक बड़ा ही इंपॉर्टेंट कोर्स है वो करने के बाद जब वेन ही हैज इनफ थ्रेटिकल नॉलेज बिहाइंड तो देन वी कैन ऑफर हिम क्लाइमेट जर्नलिज्म और इन्वायरमेंटल जर्नलिज्म दैट इज वाई आई हैव द आइडिया इन द कंटेंट आल्सो दैट एक्सक्यूज मी साकिब कैन आई ऐड कैन आई ऐड यस प्लीज Uh, हम लोगों ने बी एस ऑनर्स जो है वो इंट्रोड्यूस कराया है डेवलपमेंट कम्युनिकेशन के अंदर okay. और उसमें हमने क्या किया है कि हमने फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर के अंदर चूंकि हमने जनरल बेसिक एजुकेशन के कोर्सेज भी ए की पॉलिसी के मुताबिक ऑफर करने थे तो हमने एक इकोलॉजी का कोर्स ऑफर किया है जिसको हमने डेवलपमेंट के साथ लिंकअप किया है इकोलॉजी एंड डेवलपमेंट सो जो हमारे पास जब एक स्टूडेंट आता है ना तो हम उसको सेमेस्टर वन से सेंसिटाइज करते हैं कि आपने इस चीज के बारे में भी जर्नलिस्टिक परस्पेक्टिव में पढ़ना है उसके बाद हम लोग एक इन्वायरमेंट कम्युनिकेशन के नाम से एक स्पेशलाइजेशन uh, भी ऑफर कर रहे हैं अपने बीएस प्रोग्राम के अंदर जिसमें हम इन्वायरमेंट रिपोर्टिंग एंड उसको डिजिटल मीडिया उसको मेन स्ट्रीम मीडिया उसको जर्नलिज्म और सब चीजों के साथ उसको लिंक कर रहे हैं बट मुझे यहाँ पर लगता है जहाँ पर डॉक्टर uh, शबाना एंड डॉक्टर मुनीबा ने जर्नलिज्म के वर्ड पे तो बात की है लेकिन वट आई फील कि क्लाइमेट कम्युनिकेशन अगर हो जाए तो वो जरा ज्यादा ब्रॉड हो जाएगा और, yes. और वो इसके अंदर इंक्लूसिवनेस जरा ज्यादा आ जाएगी अच्छा जब यहाँ पर बात हो रही है ना कि स्टूडेंट्स क्यों इंटरेस्ट नहीं ले रहे स्टूडेंट्स से ज्यादा जिसने डॉक्टर शफीक ने बात की इस इस क्लाइमेट लिटरेसी को हमें दो जगहों पे डिवाइड करने की जरूरत है एक जनरल पब्लिक के लिए और एक जर्नलिज्म स्टूडेंट्स के लिए अगर जनरल पब्लिक के अंदर क्लाइमेट लिटरेसी बढ़ेगी तो वो जर्नलिज्म के अंदर भी या कम्युनिकेशन के अंदर भी जॉब मार्केट भी बढ़ना शुरू होगी असल प्रॉब्लम जॉब मार्केट की है कि हमारे स्टूडेंट्स को यह लगता है अगर हम क्लाइमेट पढ़ लेंगे हम हेल्थ जर्नलिज्म कर लेंगे क्लाइमेट जर्नलिज्म पर बात करेंगे जेंडर एंड मीडिया पर बात करेंगे एग्रीकल्चर से रिलेटेड चीजें देखेंगे तो हम करके बाद में क्या करेंगे अगर हमारे पास पोलिटिकल बीट नहीं है हमारे पास क्राइम बीट नहीं है हमारे पास जितनी भी ये बिकने वाली चीजें हैं वो नहीं है तो हम ये पढ़ने इन इन चीजों को पढ़ने का कोई फायदा नहीं है
और दूसरी स्कूल्स के अंदर कॉलेजेस के अंदर या इवन आपका स्टूडेंट मास कम्युनिकेशन में किसी भी स्पेशलाइजेशन के अंदर अगर वो डिग्री लेने आ रहा है तो आप कोई ना कोई एक ऐसा कोर्स सेंसिटाइज करने के लिए उसके प्रोग्राम में डाल दिया जाए चाहे वो डिजिटल मीडिया का स्टूडेंट है चाहे वो पी एडवर्टाइजिंग का स्टूडेंट है चाहे वो फिल्म एंड टीवी का है सो मुझे लगता है तमाम डिसिप्लिन में इस वक्त क्लाइमेट लिटरेसी इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट बिकॉज इन आर कर सकते हैं मैम द फर्स्ट क्लाइमेट जर्नलिज्म वर्कशॉप दैट वी हैड वी हैड जर्नलिस्ट आल्सो दिस टाइम स्पेसिफिकली वी वांटेड टू हैव जर्नलिज्म प्रोफेसर्स एंड फ्रॉम आर कॉन्टेक्स्ट आई थिंक दिस इज पॉसिबल दैट व्हेन वी इंट्रोड्यूस क्लाइमेट जर्नलिज्म कोर्स वी कैन हैव इन इन्वायरमेंटल साइंसिस कोर्स एज अ प्री रेक मे बी आई एम स्पीकिंग फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ आर यूनिवर्सिटी वी कैन डू दैट मे बी सो इट्स अ गुड सजेशन सर एंड नाउ आई थिंक the discussion is on but i want you guys to be divided in different groups so you sit together and we can start working on uh, on these ideas that you Excuse me Sakib. Yes. Sakib, yes, Sakib, Sakib before you do that yes. I raised my hand uh, a quarter of an hour ago I don't want to interrupt I'm this so sorry I'm so sorry during Shai the group discussion I will leave and uh, it will be very beneficial for you to speak in the local language so okay. and I can't follow So can you allow me just five minutes or three minutes before you go into that? Because I will leave you with the rest of the conference. Yeah, def- okay? definitely, Dr. Elizabeth. Go ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, uh, about the discussion about communication and journalism, I have no objection to this being a broader term, as some of the uh, participants have said, uh, or at least uh, the way I've interpreted it, uh, even if I can't uh, understand Urdu more than a few words. Uh, I have this to say. Uh, I think it's fair to discuss climate journalism and climate communication both. On the other hand, I also think it's very important that you realize the role perception of these two different disciplines. Because in at least where I come from, communicators are also used to greenwash industries which refuse to uh, target uh, emission uh, reduction for example. I mean communication officers can be used very counterproductive but also in ngos for example who combat climate change they can be used very beneficially so you have it both ways and we have to realize that uh, so i have no objection to having both ways but we need to have a role perception of the different roles of journalism and communication officers because when it comes to objectiveness which was powerfully addressed by faranas in the beginning you actually uh, you actually address that and for journalism to seek for the truth is uh, fundamental for communication officers it's not always that way i would also like to mention uh, about the uh, need uh, i mean the entertainment factor here i think mm-hmm. sometimes you can even integrate the climate in that sector but uh, it's been many many years since neil postman wrote his book amusing ourselves to death which is to say that journalism is on the defensive when it comes to the combat within the field between entertainment and journalism and i think then for us who have a journalism as part of our backbone it's necessary to defend the role of journalists versus also the ind- entertainment industry i wish you good luck with the rest and uh, i think it's uh, very necessary uh, as sakib also uh, emphasizes that there could be an inclusive effort and i think many of the components that he has addressed inside the what he calls climate journalism is as relevant to climate communication as such so uh, i don't think uh, we should i think we should bridge the gap here instead of uh, insisting on it being two very different platforms with that i also want to wish you good luck because i think pakistan looks like it could be a vanguard country for actually promoting teaching climate communication and journalism mark my words now i said communication and journalism so i wish you very much of luck and i'm sorry i can't attend the award ceremony or the certificate ceremonies as i'm uh, thousands of miles from you but uh, i'm really happy about what you have uh, done so far at fcc and i was also very happy to meet uh, daud again whom i met in glasgow and uh, also i'm very happy that you now have connected to the third pole network which i think will be very beneficial for both of you thank so you. with that i just want to thank you for uh, attending this uh, workshop and uh, i think i've also from my side being in the extreme north i would say learned a lot so that was what i had to say but yeah thank you uh, thank you so much dr elizabeth thank you from our side from dr altaf from our faculty from the participants and other presenters thank you so much
Okay, uh, we'll uh, now move forward towards the group activity while you fill this out. So the activity is basically that uh, we're going to be divided in smaller groups and uh, we have to write down these suggestions and what can be done, what could be the student learning objectives for the, for the course that you think can be introduced and what could be the other uh, learning pathways for teaching climate journalism. So I'll give you uh, 15 minutes for that and then we can have, uh, you know, your suggestions. So, yes. Mike, please. I was noticing myself also. And I was noticing others also. And that in itself uh, is... That in itself is a thing that we kept using the word sensitize. Okay. I was also using it. Everybody was also using it. That's not a word you use in journalism. Mm -hmm. A journalist's work is not to sensitize. Okay. This is very development sector jargon. So, hum sab already, hum bhi sensitize ho gaye aur hum communicators ban gaye. Yes. Nonetheless, <laughs> jab students se baat hoti hai, main jab padhati rahi hoon, 90% uh, of them want to go in production. True because that, that's yes. where the money is. Theek hai, bilkul honest baat karni chahiye. The thing is, they don't even become good producers or communicators unless they have a sound basic backing in journalism, writing, yes. research skills, like what uh, Daud was giving, the tools, they are amazing tools. Exactly. And for that, a faculty member se meri baat ho thi, wo bata rahi thi that MPhil is required to study. But maybe there is somebody who has done MPhil but has not spent a single day in a newsroom. Yes. Uh, so you need a combination really. Varna ho nahi paega. Also, um, jo faculty ki aap baat kar rahe the aur early point pe add karne ki basic journalist training communications ke logon ki bhi kare. Bas itni si baat hai. Bilkul, bilkul. Thank you so much, ma'am, for the suggestion. Exactly. नहीं होता बिल्कुल and and also मैम but even if this is the policy that you need to have an MPhil degree to teach in a university, uh, it is still possible and allowed in our university. A lot of our faculty members, including me and everybody, we invite uh, different journalists in our courses. Uh, Mr. Adil Ahmed Amir has been doing that in our, uh, his courses, I know. Uh, Shiraz has not, uh, yeah, different people. And I've been doing that. Uh, I'm sure others also. Ms. Mevish Batul has been doing that. Ms. Amina and everybody. I mean, all of them, I want to say. So, so this is possible. Yes, ma'am, please. My personal experience is that I have started reporting on environmental journalism and when I was standing in my own newsroom, I had a lot of reporters who were listening to the political beat that we only have so much benefit that we come to TV and our beeper will be on the TV. But we can't touch any festival. हम किसी अच्छी जगह अपनी कोई खबर नहीं भेज सकते जब तक हम कोई अच्छी इन्वेस्टिगेटिव इन्वायरमेंटल स्टोरी नहीं करेंगे यानी अब जो मैं जब बच्चों को पढ़ाती हूँ तो वो इंटरेस्टेड होते हैं फिल्म आइडियाज देने में भी इससे रिलेटेड क्लाइमेट चेंज से रिलेटेड और बड़े अच्छे आइडियाज लेकर आते हैं कि दो बच्चे जो कचरा उठाते हैं वो कैसे उसको रिसाइकल करके अपने लिए अपनी पढ़ाई का वो बंदोबस्त करते हैं इसके अलावा डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज बना रहे हैं बच्चे रिपोर्टिंग भी करने क्योंकि जर्नलिज्म से हमारे जेन में आता है सिर्फ रिपोर्टिंग ही आ रहा होता है इसके अलावा रिसर्च पेपर्स भी लिख रहे हैं क्यों 
क्योंकि वो इतने सेंसिटाइज हैं वही वाला फैक्टर वो जो कमाई का फैक्टर उनको पता है कि उनकी फिल्म फेस्टिवल तक जाएगी जाएगी उनको पता है कि उनकी डॉक्यूमेंट्री अच्छी जगह उठाई जाएगी तो बच्चों के लिए ये बड़ा एक पॉजिटिव चीज होती है और ये वाकई बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बात है कि अगर कोई फील्ड का बंदा भी आपको मार्केट के लोगों की इंडस्ट्री के लोगों को इन्वॉल्व करने की बड़ी जरूरत होती है क्योंकि वो आपको प्रोडक्शन ये वाले स्किल्स सिखा देते हैं मोजो से आपको फोन से हर चीज को बनाना और उसको उस क्वालिटी तक लेकर आना सिखा देते हैं फिर आपका काम जो है बच्चों का जब वो फेस्टिवल तक जाता है तो वो करते हैं वो फिल्म भी बनाते हैं ऐसे इश्यूज पे वो डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज भी बनाते हैं और वो रिपोर्टिंग भी उस तरह की करना सीखते हैं जो उनको फायदा भी देती है जो हर पॉलिटिकल बीट रिपोर्टर या क्राइम रिपोर्टर को नहीं मिलता सिवाय एक बीपर के एग्जैक्टली थैंक यू सो मच मिस अराबिया